That's the most surprising answer. More to cry. Yes. That was quick. <laughs> Lighting's going. This is connected. The phone's ready. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is a very long awaited video. We are watching our wedding video for the very first time. Y'all have probably seen it by now though because we're gonna release the actual wedding video before oh. this video. So this is just our reaction to watching it for the first time. Yeah. So, so thanks Nate for making this. All right, you ready babe? I'm so ready. <laughs> Tori, the first thing I ever said to you was, do I know you? It was a pompous remark, and I said it almost to be cunning. I don't know if it worked at the time. And I also didn't know how such an awkward question would be the best and most surprising I'm answer from God. <laughs> yes, I am supposed to know you. I want to start by thanking you for okay. all the ways you've changed my life already. You're truly the man that I always prayed for. Thank you for believing that I could fly when I didn't yet see my wings. Thank you for intentionally loving me and pursuing me in the most Christ-like way I've ever known. I love the example of true love that Jesus has given us. In the way His love for us is freely given, He has shown us that these vows do not come out of an obligation or to earn each other's love. These vows are promises that I fiercely and unconditionally gift to you in the way that I have also received an abundance of unconditional love that you have continued. I don't remember any of the vows. <laughs> Today's the day. We finally made it. I remember telling my girls how I knew I was going to marry you before we even had our second first kiss. You are so much more of a man than I have ever even dreamed of or imagined my husband would be. I know we always say that God exceeds our expectations, but baby, he really outdid himself when he brought me you. Is it weird hearing your, your words in a moment? Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, my name's Halco and I'm proud of the bride of course. It's my privilege and honor to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. It's amazing. Now. To chat. So really, I mean, what do I say to you? I mean, you gotta be the lucky scum. Tori, no one has ever loved me like you do. You embody 1 Corinthians 13 in our relationship and look like Jesus to me. Who knew Jesus was so attractive? <laughs> And welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brianna, Tori's best friend and maid of honor. Tori, you're the most kind, selfless person I know. You're one of those friends that everyone wishes to have, but only if you get to experience. Chad, you are one of a kind. I knew you were different. You've brought out a side of Tori I've never seen. You've made her more patient, more carefree, but above all, you've made her the happiest I've ever seen her. Thank you for exceeding every expectation she had in a man and genuinely choosing her every single day. I make this vow to you in front of our family, our friends, and of God. I, Chad Davis Masters, take you, Victoria Lee Cohen, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I vow to help dress you in the armor of God at oh. <laughs> sunrise. I vow to act like a mirror and reflect your God-given greatness and cherish that greatness well. I vow to surrender my own flesh and desire so that I can fiercely and unconditionally love you. To always look you in the eyes through the lens of Christ with grace, love, and compassion. Chad and I have known each other for about a third of our lives. And over the years, our brotherhood has only grown stronger. Chad has a gift like no one I've ever met. You have this way of making people feel important, making people feel loved. You lift people up. I feel like a giant standing on your shoulders when I'm with you. Over many years, I have come to know and love three very different Chads. I've known Chad before Christ, Chad with Christ, and Chad with Christ and Tori. 
You have changed and loved my best friend in ways I have only seen Christ change and love my best friend. Oh, you're my ugly cry. Thank you for waiting for me, fighting for me, and pursuing me in the most Christ-like way. I genuinely cannot wait to start this adventure of life with you. I think the thing I'm most excited about is being able to fully love you under the grace of our Savior and wake up tomorrow beside you as your wife. Love you forever and always. Almost. That's a really good shot. That's sweet. I vow to create space to capture the sweetness inside our everyday mundane. The dancing in the kitchen, cuddles in the couch, and foot rubs even when I don't want to. <laughs> I vow to let the peace of God remain the compass that guides our every step. To walk alongside you, pick up your burdens, and help carry them to the cross. I vow to cross out the lies of the enemy and replace them with the truth of God's word to be the match that ignites your fire for the Lord and the flame that keeps it ablaze. I vow to fight for you and us. I vow to unplug us from the world's distractions and keep us connected to God. I need to do more of that. <laughs> I vow to fight the temptations that seek to devour and destroy us. I vow to appreciate your humanity and to respect how fearfully and wonderfully different you are than me. Oh, wow. There's some tears Certain right there. Certain things that change your life literally forever and the most transformative moment of my life was the moment you were born. I felt I was a certain person, I had a certain belief system, and then you were born and <laughs> gone. Just beautiful, talented, funny, loving, greatest gift you could ever want. If everyone raise your glasses up to a long life of love and happiness together, may your children the be as big a blessing as you are to us. Couldn't be happier for you, and I for sure could not be more proud. Cheers. People keep asking me if I'm nervous, and I don't know what to tell them. The only thing I am nervous about is making sure I can treat you as well as you treat me. You are the love of my life, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, my sweet and precious gift. And I pray that God will teach me to humbly serve and lead you in our marriage. I love you, Chad. <laughs> You can read my hand right I vow to help you pursue the plans God has for you. I vow to honor our parents. I vow to be the best father our children could ever ask for. I vow to boldly make you feel the love of Christ. I vow to keep the venture inside the map that is your heart. To close my eyes and let you lead me in this dance of life. I vow to follow you into the battlefield of injustice and fight alongside of you for the children of God to create a community around us that acts as a spring of life in the middle of a desert. I just want to pay the camera now without us you. chopping on you. Constantly honor you and deeply love you. Oh wow, gosh. I vow to ask for forgiveness when I don't want to. That was a lot. And I vow to forgive you when I don't want to. <laughs> I promise to kiss you even when you have makeup on. <laughs> I don't like makeup. <laughs> And lastly, I promise to know you deeply, intentionally, lovingly, as my wife and my best friend forever. By the power vested in me in the state of Florida as a minister of the gospel, it's my privilege now to pronounce you husband and wife. Chad, <laughs> you kiss your brother. Oh, Jamie. What a That was a good Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. <laughs> Chad Patrick.
babies. Aww. It was good. It was so good. Oh, babies. Oh, Nate. Oh, Nate. Oh, man. That was emotional. I just feel like I went on a roller coaster of emotions. There was a point that I was crying so much I like, couldn't actually watch it. Yeah, I started crying within the first 30 seconds. I got like hot. I didn't know that it was gonna have so much focus on the actual like wedding, was it called the ceremony? ceremony? Yeah, which I'm happy it did because our reception was amazing. And I liked that the parts that we wanted to really remember from the wedding were in there, you know? I liked that he really captured like the union under God because that's what we really wanted to hit on. Because yeah. the party was, was great, but I also like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Was it worth the wait? It was worth the wait. I mean, I still wish we would have watched it forever ago so we could enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. But it's a video that we'll treasure forever, which is just really special. Isn't it weird thinking like our kids will watch this? And we're gonna make them watch it every every. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we. I feel like I need a nap. I'm just <laughs> thinking, babies. I just feel like I need a nap. That was emotional, right? Want to go make out? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we love you. I think this is probably the end of our love story series. Well, which is I mean, crazy. until we build a family and stuff. But that's not our love story series. This was all leading up to the wedding video. Oh, so now we'll make other series? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, well, that's bittersweet. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Yeah. <sighs> Man, you want to eat? Didn't we just eat? I got back at like 10 15. It's been what 11 15 12 15 1 15. It's been three hours. That's how I tell time by the way <laughs> Don't include that <laughs> I have I have to do that Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go make out and then go get food. But thanks for watching our love story. We're gonna go continue it now Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, really though. We love you guys. See you in the next video mm -hmm. Bye. We're doing the dirty dancing move and it was totally unplanned, not prepared or anything. Not at all. And people were so nervous. Like I had they were like freaking out. there was like four guys behind me ready to catch her just in case, because otherwise we would have probably won grand prize on America's funniest home videos or something. Valid.